Hi guys, Victoria Husit here with VK Consulting. And today let's look at the Secretary of State of California and see how we can file a statement of information. Just so you know, if you have a company, if it's a LLC, nonprofit, Inc., you have to file statement of information. And on a Secretary of State, it will tell you when you need to file those statements. It's very different for every company, so make sure you know. If you don't file it, there is a penalty of $250, but that's not the worst. You actually have to fill out a lot of paperwork to get your company reinstated and be active. And the paperwork, that's what makes it a little bit um, difficult. But in any case, we are right now on Secretary of State website and let's see what we need to do. So let's go to businesses where we can find statement of information. Let's go to this file online. It's a new screen, it's a new website, and it's new for me. So it's the first time I'm gonna do actual statement of information. Now you need to log in. You do need to create an account ahead of time. I already created mine, so I can just log in. Now it has my search forms, my work, queue, my records, data requests. Let's go through Every step, let's go to search. And right here, you can enter your company name. So let's try. I recently opened a nonprofit organization, which I need to file a statement of information for. And that's what we are gonna do. I enter a name and it brought me right here. So let's see, you can know more word charity. It gives a date and the information. And here it is, file statement of information. Let's click on file statement of information. Here it is. So let's do it. Now it's going to ask for submitter information, which would be you. Next step is the entity details, which you need to verify. Next step has your business address. So if your business address changed, this is a place where you can change it. It's officers. That's where you need to add officers. Next step would be agent for services or processes. And it can be individual. You can put your name on one of the members of your company, or you can have a California registered corporation agent. It's up to you. Then it's email notification. Yes, I would like to receive emails. And here you put your email address. You have a review and signature page where you need to uh, approve everything. And then you pay your fee. And if you need a copy, it's another fee. And you are good to go. Now, you see, I did uh, certain mistakes here. So it shows me that I need to go back and see, I probably missed a check mark somewhere, but pretty much that's how you file a statement of information. I hope this was useful and helpful. This is a new website and now this is how you file your statement of information. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.